In a separate video, I reviewed the emergency plug, and it's a great tool. It works really well. Unfortunately, recently some issues have been uncovered, and it's not necessarily with the plug itself, it's with a manufacturer. As an overview, the emergency plug is designed to stop motion in electric vehicles. When the light turns green when you turn on the emergency plug, you can plug it into the charging port of any electric vehicle, and the vehicle should put itself in park or neutral, and typically they turn themselves off. What it does is it communicates with the vehicle once it's plugged in. It's spoofing a charger. It tells the vehicle it's charging, and that should stop all motion in the vehicle. And the reason this works goes back to regulations. There's three main regulations out there regulating electric vehicles. Now, these are regulations, so they, they're law. And the first one is FMVSS 305. That's an American standard. The second one is the R100, the European standard. And the third one, now I'm going to leave the GV out of it right now. That's a Chinese standard. The regulation in both the FMVSS 305 and the R100 are very similar. Essentially, they say that if the vehicle is plugged into an external charging, if it's capable of being charged externally, at that point, the vehicle cannot move. The FMVSS 305 actually states it can't move more than 150 millimeters after being plugged in. And I've tested the emergency plug on a ton of vehicles, and it works really well, at least until now. And the issue isn't with the emergency plug itself, it's actually with certain GM vehicles. And it's strange to me because the first vehicle I actually tested this on was the Chevy Bolt. You can see the vehicle is currently in drive. And when I plug in the emergency plug, the light turns blue, it's good for you. That stops all motion in that vehicle. Now, when I go to try to put the vehicle back into drive, it doesn't work because it's actually put the vehicle in park. It's turned the vehicle off and I'm no longer able to put that vehicle back in drive. Even if I unplug the emergency plug, the vehicle won't put itself back in drive. I'll actually have to power cycle the vehicle, manually put it back in drive to get it to be able to move again. The emergency plug works perfectly with this vehicle. Unfortunately, news recently came out that the electric Hummer doesn't work as expected when we use the emergency plug. And this isn't only an issue with the emergency plug. If you plug the electric Hummer into a regular charging port, you're going to find the same problem. And that problem is the vehicle can still drive. After getting in contact with GM and doing a ton of research, I found out that this is a problem with their newer vehicles. For example, this is an electric Chevy Blazer. If the vehicle's in park and I plug the emergency plug in, the light turns blue. Good for you. That means you shouldn't be able to put the vehicle in drive. Sorry, it's really bright and sunny outside and it's tough to see the blue LED. That's exactly what we find. I've got the plug in, foot on the brake, we're shifting the vehicle in drive, or at least we're attempting to, but we're getting this warning on the dash and it's not actually able to shift in a drive. However, there's a problem if that vehicle's already in drive. In this situation, we've held the charging door open, the vehicle's in drive. I plug the emergency plug in, the light turns blue, but here the vehicle is, it can still drive away without any issue. Now, based on my research, I found out the Chevy Blazer, the electric Hummer, the new Silverado, these are all vehicles where this plug doesn't function as expected. And in my opinion, this is a design flaw with the manufacturer itself, with those vehicles, not the emergency plug. That's because, again, they're going against the regulations on how these vehicles should be designed. Now, here's an example with the electric Hummer. The vehicle's in park. I plug the plug in. The light turns blue. I can't get this vehicle in drive. Again, you see the message on the dash. We'll reset the situation. We'll put the vehicle in drive first. That's how we're going to find these vehicles after some type of crash scenario. I plug the plug in. It turns blue. Good for you, right? Wrong. The vehicle isn't doing what it should do, and the vehicle can drive off. While it doesn't appear the emergency plug works properly for the electric Hummer, I accidentally found out there's a 60-second delay in the whole processing. While the vehicle was in drive and the plug was plugged in, it was blue, I was just kind of BSing with the guy helping me out. And all of a sudden, the vehicle put itself in park. So we did some experiments, and we did multiple experiments. And it turns out that once you plug that plug in, there is exactly a 60-second delay before the vehicle puts itself in park. In the future, I'm going to try this with other newer GM vehicles, 
and see if there's any consistency. Now, I've been in contact with GM. They actually borrowed my personal emergency plug to try it out on their vehicle. So they're well aware of the situation. At this point, it's a waiting game for me and the fire service. I'm waiting to find more information out from GM, see if they have a proposed solution for this problem, and see where things go. GM is right in my backyard, so I'd love to work with them, be the liaison between them and Total Safety Solutions, the owners of the emergency plug, because ideally, we want to make things better for first responders. Safety is our number one priority. If you want to learn more about the emergency plug, click this video right here.